Yo, welcome back to my playthrough, my first playthrough of Catherine on the Xbox 360. We're playing on the Xbox One through backwards compatibility, and um, we're now on the second part of this video series, so let's crack on. Obviously, in the last video, it was the first mission Underground Cemetery. himself. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Ugh. That was weird. You put a t shirt on to have a shower. <laughs> so, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time, do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh, man. How long has <laughs> that? What a dick. I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just... My mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Has said that attempts are being oh, made to two over here. Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? I mean, what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Uh, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. 
You knew she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. <laughs> if you never meet your soulmate, then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to his body? Didn't look healthy. I don't know. Apparently, his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean? Yeah, the mystery death on the news. That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. <laughs> so you did pee. Messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, oh, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, oh, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. All right. What do we do now? Check your text messages and save. Nice. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. Received E free. About text messages. When you spend time in the stray sheep, you will receive text messages on your phone. You can even reply to some of these messages. Depending on how you reply, Vincent's feelings and those of the person he is writing to you may change. Continued. Oh. When you press the confirm button, a new line will be added to your reply. Press the cancel button to erase the last line and press the confirm button again to write a different phrase in its place. Choose the words you want to reply with. Be honest with your choices. This is from Catherine checking in. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising. Most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. Yeah, that's my choice. 
Does it bother you? We should work at our own pace. We don't need to be constantly comparing ourselves to others. Let's catch a movie sometime. See ya. <laughs> All right. I think that was bad. Anyway. Save our game. Certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas. A meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Well, we're giving honest answers for him. How many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? I figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. You got me. Spam? Congratulations, you successfully completed stage one, the underground cemetery. Go to awards from the cell phone menu to check your best score on stage one. Gold prize obtained. Ha. <laughs> for now. What was the award? Alright, anyway. <sighs> Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. Uh, it's late. Bartender looks like Stan Lee, the comic book artist. She's going to be tempted to cheat. Prison of Despair. Where am I? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn it, I can't remember. What's going on? heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. He's got a knack for this. All right. You can 
hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try it out. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Uh, shit. Don't budge. All right. There you go. All right, I got it. All right. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. You might find an easy path up. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving on. all at once too rows of blocks can be pushed together there's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time it's good to Start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. You're pretty mad not to. Right, I got it. You've come pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? I got it. Edge. Edge. I made it. Here I go. <laughs> nice. That's pretty. Um, I quite addictive. Like you really want to find your way up and get out. You know. Not bad. certain though if we don't run we're going to be killed killed if you see this place once it's all over you'll keep coming back every night every night you're kidding me we all have the same fate here if you don't want to die you've got to climb so if i climb i'll be saved there's no guarantee but take a look at that see that bell it's like a church or something a church if we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no, wait. You hurry too. Hey! hey. You can't be serious. On the landings, you can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Nice. Talk to them. <laughs> Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> they told me to go up. But what's up there? Give me a break. Save our game. <laughs> 